Thanks to Blazing Boost for sponsoring this video. The reason why I vouch for Blazing and I am happy to have them as a sponsor is that I genuinely think that they can help a lot of players in the community who just don't have time. Many gamers have jobs, families and it's normal to be left behind, especially on Destiny 2. If you don't want to share your account, which can be understandable, you can just purchase Sherpas and play with great teammates in order to become a better player too. I believe in their service, they're really nice as I speak with the management often and they have over 7,500 reviews on Trustpilot with 5 stars. You can't go wrong, trust me. If you ever experience any issues, their support will be there to solve it. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you one of the most underrated exotics for the Hunter. Now for me, I feel like Hunters are a little bit underpowered compared to Warlocks in my opinion. So this exotic really does help if you're trying to challenge them. Not only that, I've changed to this exotic and it's super good. But before we do start with today's video, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, drop a like on today's video because we are trying to hit that 50k mark and we're pretty much nearly there. We're at 30, so we've got literally less than half to go. But I do really appreciate everyone that's joined the channel recently and subscribed. And not only that, this weekend I'll be streaming Trials Carries, so head on over to my Twitch. Links will be in the description. Check that out, drop me a follow and drop by the chat. So today's exotic, what we're going to be talking about, is going to be the Dragon Shadow. Now, usually with Hunters, what a lot of builds run is Wormhusk. Now, Wormhusk is really good. However, I feel like people depend on it too much if you're a Hunter. Replenishing your health is really good, but if you go onto other characters, this exotic just messes you up because you're so used to replenishing your health with like dodging. Whereas if you don't use it, you'll become a better player. Trust me, I used to one run Wormhusk and now I run Dragon Shadow, and trust me, it's a lot better. Stompies as well is a massive shout out as well. People like to use this for mobility, but for me, I swapped to the Dragon Shadow, and this is what we're going to be talking about today. Now, dodging reloads all weapons and increases both movement and weapon handling speeds for a brief time. Now, pretty much this exotic saves you in so many situations, and I'll show you exactly why when I jump into a game with this, and I'll actually show you some clips at the end where I use this, and it does save me so much. So, talking over the exotic, so that dodging reloads all weapons, which is the first perk it has, is super handy especially if you're a sniper or you're shotgunning pretty much as you pick up the ammo if you dodge you're going to refill all your guns primary secondary everything with a simple dodge now this is super handy especially if you're fighting someone with a hand cannon you pick up their special and then the next guy walks around the corner if you dodge and then swap to that weapon you won't have to reload it and it will save you in so many situations and you'll see that in the clips I'll show you of me running this. The next perk that it does have is increased both movement and weapon handling speeds. Now the movement, I've heard it's plus 50 and I believe that's true. Plus 50 mobility. So theoretically you don't have to run high mobility. You can run 50 because it lasts around about 10 seconds I believe. And then also handling speeds. Basically, this gives quick draw. So like you have on your Volta, uh, your Fell Winters, sorry. Quick draw. When you dodge, this is even faster. So swap into that secondary. And it can obviously save you a lot of deaths if you guys can swap between weapons super quickly. And the handling's buffed. Now, I just want to say, because I know I get so many comments on this saying you don't need to run this high mobility. No, you don't. That's correct. But I just want to show you my armor. If you look at my armor, my armor is pretty much high mobility. And I don't run any mobility mods apart from that one. And that's just simply because I can't run anything else that's really needed. I mean, I could run Discipline, to be fair. But for me, I just prefer to have that mobility continuously. So that's why I run that before people start moaning in the comment section. Because people always sort of moan over me for running at high mobility with Dragon Shadow. But trust me, try this out. Like I said, it's the most underrated exotic for the Hunter, in my opinion. 
if you guys want me to do one on the warlock and the titan then i'm more than welcome to and i'll leave obviously that in the comment section for debate but let me know if you guys have any other underrated exotics that sort of thing and what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave you with some of my best clips while using this dragon shadow try it out let me know what you guys think and as always i will catch you in the next one